Hello and welcome to this really short tip on how to take an FME workspace and turn it into an FME workspace app so the whole entire organization can utilize it. So very simply, you log into FME Flow. On the left hand side, you flow apps and you can come in here and you can go to create app. And you're presented with this screen. So as I'd mentioned, this is where you can take an FME workspace that maybe you'd be working on your machine locally and you can turn it into an app which you can publish internally or externally for internal staff, for contractors, citizens, whomever it may be to come in and access the workspace itself to kick off processes, whether that's to download data, upload data, request data, um, yeah, validate data. Again, it's, it's endless in terms of, of what can be done here. So all you do is simply give your app a name. So I'm going to call it GCIMGS. I'm going to give it a title and I'm just going to call it a self-service portal. From here, you can give it a description. So this is where you can describe to the end user how they can come in or interact with the app itself. So for now, I'm just going to say hello, just to prove the point, but obviously you can put in as much text here as you wish. You select the repository that it's coming from. I'm going to use one of the sample workspaces that comes with FME Flow. It's a data download service. You can set the workspace itself to expire so if it's for a temporary project or for a third party or a contractor that maybe needs access to data for a short amount of time again you can set it to expire you can also add in other authentication so again you can set them up uh, through either active directory or you can set them up as a special group so they can uh, they'll be prompted or challenged to put in a username and password in order to use the app itself down here is you have your parameters or your published parameters in the workspace and over on the right hand side, you can toggle on and off if you would like the individual to be able to come in and, and access them. So this is really, really simple in terms of a drop down in terms of the data sets that they can request. They can choose the coordinate system they'd like to download it in and the output that they would like it back in. So map info, Autodesk, etc. And you also have these preset um, parameters, which I'm going to toggle off because I don't want the end user to see them, for example, I can just toggle them off. And then finally, customization. So again, you can brand the app. So this is where you can give it an icon. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to brand it IMGS, obviously. So browser icon, IMGS icon. I'm just going to save there. I'm going to put across a nice IMGS banner at the top. I can also have further text. So I said hello at the top. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Say goodbye. And then I'm also going to put in another banner. So really, really simply, you put in your browser icon, you can choose colors in the background. If you have a company logo, you can put in your company logo and have a separate banner behind that if you wished. Um, again, some further text, like for example, if you need support using this portal or it's only up between the hours of nine and five, whatever you wish. Um, and then over on the right hand side, you press OK and you'll be given a URL. So this URL can be published internally on your intranet or it can be published publicly uh, if needs be. And from there, you can just click on it and here you go. So I have taken an FME workspace and I've turned it into a workspace app so that business users or people without, for instance, IT or GIS skills can come in here and be able to request data or interact in some shape or form. So this is the banner that I uploaded. You also see the browser icon has updated up here in the top left hand corner. And um, I've literally just put in my hello text, but obviously this could be describe how to interact with the app itself. I, the end user has the drop downs of the data that they can select. They can pick the coordinate system, the output format, and then we have our footer. So as I said, I just said goodbye. And um, I also have the banner at the bottom and they simply can press OK and FME flow will go off and do its thing and gather that data together, which will be as a download uh, will be popped up now shortly just to say the data is now ready to be downloaded uh, onto the device. So this is a really, really short video showing how simple it is to take a workspace from FME form and to be able to open it up for the whole entire organization to be able to interact with it. So I can just click this button here and download it onto my machine if I wish. Please stay tuned for more quick tips from IMGS.